Hello everyone, it's Defender for You here, and I thought I would just show you this lovely Game Dev Tycoon game, which is now on offer on Steam, and it's going to be terrible because all over Christmas, Steam always does really good deals on games. I've just picked up this, and Dark Souls, and what else was it? There was an and Dead Island Riptide for twelve pound. All three of them, twelve pound. So yeah, get over to Steam at the moment. There's some really good deals on. So um, here we go. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you can be transported back in time to start your very own games development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Well, thank you very much. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Right, what should we call this company? What should we call it? Um, 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 um. Seeing that I am a massive A massive Zelda fan, Triforce Games, and I put my name in Jack. And I'm gonna be obviously not female, not a ginge. Yeah, that's me. God, I love a sweater. What should we have? We have that. That'll be. That's fine. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Go back. There you go. Fine. Yes, let's do this. Triforce Games. Let's do this. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in Help Menu. To access the Help Menu and other features such as saving, reloading, and creating a game, simply press Escape to access the main menu. Why, thank you. Congratulations! You have started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is a garage. Oh, cheers. And you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Well, I never. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Why, thank you. Yes, I will. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. Right. What shall we do? Uh, click here. Develop new game. Yes, we'll do this. Before developing, you can begin... Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphics technology your game should use. Okay, your options are eternally limited. But once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Well, thank you. Right, game one, what should we call this? So this is like the start of the company so it has to be no company starts off with a massively good game um what should we call this one what option actually what genre have we got Ooh. let's do a strategic game is it strategic simulation strategic game we're a str strategical spy game, yes. And we'll do PC because we know that PC will be for. Is what should a strategic? I'll just pick strategical or strategy strategy as we call it. Spy strategy PC. Right. What should we call it? We're gonna call it. Um. CIB. Yeah, we'll call it CIB. Next. What do we want? How much? I've got 70k. Right, we'll go with 2D graphics. So now the cost has gone up to 15k. Start development. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Oh, thank you. 
think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. No, I'm okay, thank you. So, what we strategic, strategical strategy, a space, a space, a spy strategy game. Right. Storyline on the strategy game isn't really a must. Gameplay is an engine. Yeah, there, that'll do. Don't scratch your head, Jack. Come on. Step to it. Thank you. Game development is now started. Thank you. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bugs, bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Oh god. Oh brilliant. Right, so development. Dialogue, level design, artificial intelligence. Right, artificial intelligence on a strategy game. Make it, meh, yeah, could make it alright. Dialogue on a strategy game. Uh, not so important. Level design. Yeah, that'll do. Come on. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sound, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. Okay. You will also see the graphics type you select when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay, so this is all we've got at the moment. So what do we want? World design for a strategy game could could yeah could throw throw the game, couldn't it? Straight using the world to help you. Graphics, I'd like good graphics. Sound, not so much. Seeing that it will be a sp yeah. Three bugs, four bugs, five bugs. Are you fucking kidding me? No. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do so when fixing the major majority of bugs. Okay. Release a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you cannot afford to wait. Okay. Yeah, any more? You done? Cool. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skill. When development is complete, you will be presented with a summary of experience gained. Thank you. Ding! Beautiful. Release the game. Your game is now complete. You will be handed off to publishers. You should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Okay, just sit back in your garage, twiddle your thumbs. Uh oh, the first reviews of our newly released game CIB came in. Oh, oh my God, no! Oh, strategic games work well on PC. Good, Star Games. Cheers. Not oh, you bastards. No ones. Don't give me a one. Most of oh, cheers, game hero. I love you. Oh my god. See what did I say? First game after publishing game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Games report are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight into the what what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Okay. To generate a game report. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen and bring up an action menu. Okay, we want a generate game report. Yes, on CIB. Come on. Triforce Games, a new coming into the game industry, has just released its first game, CIB. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Triforce Games will develop in, de deliver in the future. 
Oh my god, how many units? Oh, that's not too bad. So be sold in the first week of the market. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income from the games every week. You can now see how well you, see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph at the top right of the screen. Two, two. Right, ah, uh, post. And he's and it's accessible completely. We have fun. Spine strategy games are a bad combination. Brilliant. Graphics seem to be not very important for this type of game. Okay. Green reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insight. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Game history. La. Brilliant. Okay. Right. I think we should just get. Can we uh, research anything? Researching is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try and save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Thank you. Hint. Hint, hint. Try to develop games with different topics and genre. Genres? Genres. Combina combinations for a slight research boost. New topic. Um, yeah, game dev. Zombies. We want zombies, yes? Research zombies, thank you very much. Come on. So if you want to see... You successfully researched a new topic. Zombies! So if you want to see... Uh, well, if you want to see... If you want to give me any ideas for different games in the comments below, please just go to town. I'd love to know what you want to hear, or what you want to see, or what you think would be a good combination. I'm going to do this one now, we're going to do PC again, and we're going to pick zombies because it's new, and we're going to have a zombie adventure game, no it's a zombie action game, we love, and we're going to call it, um, yeah, we're going to call it, what are we going to call it, a zombie action game. What should we call it? Uh, here we go. Un, un, dead, rivals, rivals, rival. Can't even spell. There we go. No, no, we're not going to call it that. Undead Reloaded. No, it wouldn't be Reloaded because that's that's a Undead Naming game is something difficult. Not really, it's not writer's block. It's not really writer's block, I'm just Undead Um Undead Doorman. You're a doorman that got killed by a revolving door and you've been brought back to the dead to avenge your death. Yeah. You want 2D graphics. You don't want a text-based game. That'd be bollocks. That'd be proper shit. Oh, I walk through a door as a zombie. Ra ra ra. Right. Yes, we want a bit more story. Gameplay will be very high engine, not so much. Come on, design. CIB is now off the market. It sold 5,705 units, generating 39,970 in sales. Very nice, thank you very much. Right, dialogue, eh, it's an action game. Level design, yeah, nah, nah. Also, if you want to do uh, backstories to your games that you're going to try and get me to do, I'd love to hear them. Just leave them in the comments, it'd be quite funny to see. Uh, well designed, not so much. Graphic, meh, sound, meh, that will do. Oh, 
Recent market study suggests that the Juvodor 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configured over other home computers. Well, to be honest, you don't know this, but I do, but you actually uh, get put out of business, yeah? Oh, that's nice of them. Get rid of those bugs. Any more? Lovely. Finished. Beautiful. Ding! And... Pew. Release the game. Good judgement. The first reviews of our newly released game, Undead Dorman, came in. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Nice experience. Oh yes. All sevens. Could the... I'm going to come down to your office all games and shoot you all. Not... Undead Dorman is so successful that we now have 16 fans. Good for us. Come on. Right. According to rumours, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own arms games console. Nintendo is known for its widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industries expect doubt that the home gaming console will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Game report. Oh, an undead doorman. <laughs> Our post-release analyst Analyze under Dorman is complete. We've got the problem. Zombie in action is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. World design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre action PC is good. Cool. Well, I am going to leave it there for this. So if you want to see me do more of this, please leave your comments below of what you want to see, what games you want to see, what console you want to see them on. And I will do them for you. Well, important milestone for the history of Triforce Games. So I will see you all very soon. So thank you for watching. I've been the Fender for you. This has been Game Dev Ty Ty Tycoon. Go check it out on Steam. It is really cheap at the moment. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye. Oh, now it's off the market. Look what you've done. Bye.